the world has virtually shrunken to look more and more like a village community. There is increased competition for the world's resources as populations have exploded exponentially. Science and its application, technology, are the tools that humanity has at its disposal to do just this. Technologies that generate power such as thermal, solar, wind, tidal wave and others will be explored. Wireless technologies have revolutionized the way we work, communicate, compute, socialize and even have fun. This TV program will give you an insider's view on how it all works. Leadership is a contract. People vote for you because they expect you to stand for them and improve their living conditions. How can I satisfy everybody? Let for me alone, if I had the power to make sure that no Gambian goes become sick or goes hungry or is poor, I would have given it to every Gambian, irrespective of whether they like me or not. That's my best for the Gambian. Well, the Changemaker Show is a show that intends to showcase how young people are creating change in their lives, in their communities, and out of the country. Of course, you will agree with me that there are a lot of issues that really are hindering the development of young people. So this show will try to see how young people can be better molded to serve as agents of positive change. change, change. This is a reality TV show that intends to bring survivors to talk about their life story. It could be my story. It could be your story. It could be our story. We talk about cross-cutting issues like health, education, entertainment, and social development. Be the change that you want to see in the world. Join the Changemaker Show every Tuesday at 6 o'clock on GRTS. I am your host, Yasin Fahl. And I am Abdullahi Baji. Let's make a change.
65 in Kanilai village, Fonyi Kansala district, West Coast region witnessed the birth of a Pan-Africanist. The current president of the Republic of the Gambia, Chef Professor Dr. Alhaji Yaya Jame. The president's date of birth coincides with African Liberation Day. President Yaya Jame received his early education at Kanilai Primary School. St. Edward's Primary School in Buyam and Gambia High School in Banjul. Like any other Gambian child, in 1983, he passed the General Certificates of Education, GCE O level, with credits in Geography, English, French, Biology, and Physics. Also obtained passes in Chemistry and Oral English. <laughs> After graduating from high school, President Jami served on the various military units in the Gambian National Army until the 22nd of July, 1994, when he led a group of young officers in effecting a peaceful change of government. Jami, who was 29 years old at the time, became the chairman of the Armed Forces Provisional Ruling Council. In 1996, Jami retired from the army and upon popular demand founded the Alliance for Patriotic Reorientation and Construction, APRC. He was elected as president in September 1996. Yeah, yeah. In the quest to pave the way for greater achievement in improving the country's human capital and steering its development, President Jami has personally initiated a series of development projects such as the President's Empowerment for Girls Education Project, PEGEP, which provides scholarships to students from poor families. 22nd July 1994, on Friday. President Jami's Operation Clean the Nation initiative was conceived to enhance the physical cleanliness of the environment. <laughs> Chef Professor Jami's personal intervention in providing treatment for people suffering from chronic medical conditions such as HIV and AIDS, asthma, diabetes, hypertension, and women having difficulties in childbearing. Difference. Born into a great agrarian community, 